This is episode three of season one, indexing. Findability is intimately tied to your index configuration with the dollar search aggregation pipeline stage. So it's very important to dig into the configuration that you have and make sure that it meets the demands of your searching requirements. Um, so things like language and uh, variations in the type of fuzziness that you want in terms of matchability. Uh, do you have domain synonyms and all of those sorts of things uh, that relate to the type of data that you have and then the types of queries that you um, are going to um, issue against the dollar search aggregation stage. Uh, very nicely, the document model lends itself well to the index structure. So when you do a search with dollar search, what you are retrieving back, what, what matches are the documents from your original collection. And uh, in the Lucene index and in the index under the covers of Atlas Search, those actually are called documents as well. And they have fields just like the documents that you have uh, in your Atlas database. And because of that very nice mapping, uh, there is the ability to specify the configuration that you want per field and say how you want those fields to be searched or faceted or uh, sometimes uh, how they are sortable. Um, when you add, when you uh, create an Atlas search index, like we said at the beginning in the quick start episode, there's an automatic synchronization process that is uh, occurring so that any changes to your content are reflected in the index itself. Also important to note, any change in the index configuration itself causes uh, a full re-index of all of your content. And uh, that happens uh, in parallel to your um, active index so that uh, things are stay searchable uh, and but things will get re-indexed with the new re-index structure and, and and point at the new nodes when that happens. Um, so given all that let's talk about uh, the index structure and what it takes to configure that index structure. So under the covers of Atlas search is what's called an inverted index that is the data structure for full text content for textual content uh, that is being mapped from your database into Atlas search under the covers again this is Lucene index on textual content produces a data structure called an inverted index and here's an illustration of an inverted index this is uh, consider here's a document with the text here's some text capital H apostrophe s okay and I'm using the standard analyzer in configuration here for this inverted index uh, demonstration and and so when we get the next document uh, and more text dot 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 and more text that analyzer uh, configuration the standard analyzer uh, which is the default will break the text into tokens and terms and these become the inverted index searchable units so that analyzer configuration is key to how the text in your content is searchable. What are the words that are extracted from your content? Are the uh, special characters, uh, how, how they are handled? How is case handled? Capital H goes to lowercase h here. The apostrophe S remained using this particular analyzer configuration. Now we're going to index one more document and see how that inverted index structure looks now. So the third document and some more text. So there's some overlapping words and and more and some and text. So you can see over here in uh, the inverted index, what's called the posting list piece of the inverted index are the documents that are associated with each term that was extracted during the analysis process. And again, these are the searchable units and changing the analyzer that you're using for uh, your particular fields allows you to adjust again the searchability and sometimes even the relevancy of the results that are returned. So now let's take a look at um, various uh, effects of 
the basic analyzers that are built into Atlas Search. So here we're going to walk through a number of um, analyzers. Um, I'm going to uh, zoom this in over here a little bit so that we can see the terms that are extracted here. So using the standard analyzer of uh, Atlas Search, this is how the text gets broken down for here's some text. And in this example, we're just going to keep using here's some text. Here's some text using the simple analyzer. So this is called lucene.standard for the first one, lucene.simple for the second one here, and then uh, the lucene white space analyzer that breaks the text at white space characters but leaves everything else intact, capitalization and so on. And you can see here on the simple analyzer, the apostrophe S uh, was used as a delimiter and it kept the S as a separate token. The English analyzer. So this one uh, applies some other heuristics. It's not quite apparent here on these particular terms other than the apostrophe S got removed. So uh, plurals or contractions in this way get removed so that here is uh, a searchable unit. And then there is a keyword analyzer. This one's important if you uh, know that you are going to keep the text um, exactly as is and use uh, that as a, an exact match type search or maybe a prefix type search. Um, so the keyword analyzer, again, keeps the text exactly as is and that's indexed in the inverted index as a single term. And then finally, uh, there is an autocomplete uh, field type in Atlas search and when you turn that on there are some options and this is just kind of one configuration of it where it engrams the text um, after tokenization so after here some text gets tokenized into separate tokens three different tokens here um, then it uses engrams to uh, index all the sub pieces of the text up to a certain minimum and maximum gram sizes. And with that inverted index and analyzer demonstration, the significance of the index configuration becomes clear. What you index is what you can find and how you can find it. From basic word separation and case insensitive normalization to language specific stemming and character level engrams, index configuration provides the pieces needed for the next topic in our series, searching. So stay tuned. Subscribe to stay notified of our video releases.